Today I'm showing you one of the uh, wild plants I have in my garden. <laughs> Very often I go out and uh, I bring, uh, I collect seeds and cuttings and uh, bring them over and try them in my garden. Sometimes they are good experiments, others they don't go so well. This is an experience gone well. And I love this plant. I found it on the, the wall crevices of uh, one of my neighbors, an old wall. And uh, that's what this plant is uh, like. It is specialized uh, in uh, old walls and it likes to grow in uh, crevices. And it's so common to find it in old monuments and uh, ruins. And um, I brought it to my garden, and I love these small flowers. The, uh, they are so cute, so, so cute. And uh, the whole plant is so nice to see. It is, uh, in the garden, you can use it uh, as uh, ground cover, but it is most beautiful in um, hanging baskets. Leaves, look at the leaves. The leaves are so beautiful. They are nicely shaped and um, they have a beautiful green. They are not glossy, but they are sort of mossy, mossy green. They are reddish on the, under, on the underside. And the flowers, I love the flowers. They are so small, but so smart. They are white and uh, lavender, and uh, they have uh, this throat that, where they have sort of uh, two uh, cushions in yellow. This is sort of the landing strip for insects. This plant is pollinated by bees and other insects of the same type. The, they have uh, the nectar inside to attract the insects but uh, only insects with the long tongues uh, can reach it because it's situated down further down in the plant parts in the so-called spur so you can see when the the, the um, insect lands on the, the throat these stamens get exposed i hope you can see them here these little white dots it's so funny, the uh, interesting behavior uh, of this plant. As once the flowers get fertilized, the, the stalks twist around and back, looking for a suitable place to deposit the seed pods. They are looking for a crack, humid and dark, which is comfortable enough for the seeds to germinate. Isn't this clever? This plant grows best in humid places, uh, but it can be in full sun or half shade. We just have to be careful if we put it in our garden because it reseeds very well. So we have to be careful to keep it in control because in certain conditions it could become invasive. To finish with, I can tell you that both flowers and leaves are edible. I mean, they say they are rich in vitamin C. They taste a bit like watercress. Sometimes I put it in my salads. Also, uh, they say that in the past it was used as a medicinal herb in tea or as um, to cure flesh wounds. But I never tried, so I cannot recommend it really. This is it. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, favorite plant of mine. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye.